So separate new polling is also proving, providing insight into how Americans feel about the state of democracy heading into an election year. With us now with those numbers, editor-at-large for the nonprofit newsroom, the 19th, Erin Haynes. She's also an MSNBC contributor. Erin, tell us what your polling found. Yeah, so uh, we're doing our second annual poll uh, at the 19th and, and definitely don't feel like it's an outlier. I would just like to point out that our first poll last year really helped us to predict that abortion was really going to be on the ballot for so many voters headed into the midterms. But uh, this, mm -hmm. this poll that we have out this year shows that uh, democracy really is on the ballot for voters headed into 2024. And even though you don't have a majority of Americans that feel this way, we have 45 percent of U.S. adults saying that, de um, that democracy is working for them, and that's up from 40 percent last, uh, last time that we did this poll in 2022. Similarly, you have a boost in uh, U.S. adults saying that the economy is working for them specifically, uh, and that number is up 40% uh, this year uh, versus 36% last year. And this is a boost that is being driven largely by Democrats. Uh, uh, the number on democracy is up 14 percentage points uh, among Democrats. And the number um, is, is, is up, uh, you know, in terms of the economy, uh, for Americans over 65, eight points. I, I think that really what this says is that, uh, you know, you have issues that are important to voters that they may be tying to candidates and candidate performance. And together, those things may be galvanizing people headed into 2024, which, by the way, I just want to remind people is still 406 days away. So a lot of time for people to make their case uh, to voters as, as to why they should uh, be the next president of the United States. 406 days. Very good reminder there, because I think we all assume in our round the table here that everybody's as focused as we are. And of course, they are not. They have a long time to start focusing in on the race. Uh, can you unpack a little bit more those economic numbers for me? Because if you're showing numbers that show that people are more optimistic about the U.S. economy than they were a year ago, I think that's what I'm understanding. How does that tally with... Um, all of the other polls that have just come out and actually repeated polls showing that people don't think Joe Biden is doing a good job on the economy. How, how does that work? Well, I think, again, it's the issue versus the candidate. So uh, you had uh, Reverend Sharpton just talking about how maybe the administration is not doing the best uh, at making the case, really, for how they are directly responsible for improvements in the economy. But, uh, you know, we're talking to voters who are saying in their specific communities, they are seeing things like housing improve. They are seeing more people in their community that are finding jobs, that are, that are you know, getting themselves back to work. And so I think as they are observing kind of what is happening in their own lives or in their own communities, they, they are feeling like things maybe are getting better or that they are noticing a difference. Uh, similarly, uh, you know, the question around democracy, I think it, it absolutely depends on who you ask. Uh, for people who see this administration as, you know, uh, helping to, trying to, to make um, it easier for them to vote, safer for them to vote, or pushing back against, uh, you know, kind of the big lie and, 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 and uh, you know, false questions of election integrity, they feel like democracy is working for them, for, for, for voters who maybe are still aligned with, with the former president and, and uh, believe that, that they are somehow being disenfranchised. Those are people who maybe think that democracy is not working for them. And so uh, to the extent that, that these two combined issues really um, become the kind of thing that people are hand-wringing over, uh, at the, you know, over, over the kitchen table, I, I think we could see that motivating people in a kind of one-two punch next year. Editor at large for the nonprofit newsroom, the 19th, Aaron Haynes. Always good to see you. Thank you for being on this morning. We appreciate it.